Hey Flosstube, I'm Michelle from Michelle's Romantic Tangle, and this is Glorophilia, The Impressionists in Needlepoint by Carol Lazarus and Jennifer Berman. It is one of the absolute first needle workbooks that I bought when I started stitching. I got it at a local, local used bookstore, and it was a huge splurge at the time, but I loved this book then, and I loved it now. It is probably one of my favorite books on my shelf. Never mind the fact that I collect needlepoint books, but I do cross stitch because that is a silly little detail we are not going to get distracted by. I love these for the eye candy and the inspiration, and this book is gorgeous. I just absolutely adore it. It is, there's a lot to be read about the artists themselves and their bios and things that I have not read it cover to cover recently. I'm not sure if I ever did. This is honestly one of my favorite of the stitch pieces in the book and the pattern is not in the book. So if you see something I am flipping past, you might confirm the pattern is in the book before you purchase it because I would hate to leave you astray and have you be sad. I will tell you that the patterns in this book, I apologize, we're getting some glare here. The patterns in this book look like they would be a chore to follow, but they are so pretty. This is the Sien at Marley. We're going to have pronunciation problems with this one again. This pattern is in the book. This is Misty Morning. And I will try to tell you which patterns are and are not in the book. I know this one isn't. I know I shouldn't fall in love with the needlepoint because of the way it is displayed in the picture. But dang, that is gorgeous, isn't it? And I am missing the name of this one. But it's probably some super famous painting that I should absolutely know what it is. Paris, A Rainy Day by Gustav. I am not even going to try to pronounce that. Snow scene. This one does not tempt me even a little bit because as much as I love landscapes, I've got enough white stuff to stitch to last me forever. And this is another one that just makes me so sad that it is not in the book because I would stitch that in a heartbeat. But it's not here. Aposia Violets. Fans. Apples and oranges. Okay, that is not showing off the stitching. I think the stitching is there. There we got a better view of it. I just, the colors of Needlepoint just make my heart go pity -pity. And I, okay, look at this as a finishing idea. Is that not the most amazing little cabinet? And doesn't it make you want to find a cabinet to distress and stitch pieces for? The strawberries are the only pattern that is in the book, but I have got books full of still white fruit. So many of them. There's a closer view of the strawberries. I just want to live in an impressionist painting or daydream about it while we're here in quarantine because why not? There is wisteria. And the now we're to the stuff that I love. The Cup of Tea by Mary Cassatt. And that is, I think, the actual painting, not the stitching. Here's the stitching. Irises. Water Lily Pond by Monet. Water Lilies by Monet. We've got lots of Monet in here. I guess if you're going to do Impressionists, you have to have Monet. Peonies, and the 
face of Impressionism. I am thinking I have her in another book, too. I just love these. And I have got so many of these books. This is the reason I bought the book. This is the project that for 20 years I have been wanting to tackle. Because just look at her. I couldn't even tell you why I love this so much. I just know that my life will not be complete until I stitch her. It is Woman in Her Bath by Edgar Dega, and I'm swimming, guys. Probably 20 years after I bought the book, there is a better way to do this. I wonder if I couldn't find a pattern based on that painting somewhere. Here's Dancer Rehearsing. And Lady at Her Toilet by another artist whose name I know I cannot pronounce. Apologies for that. Look at her. Look at the texture on the wall behind her. Do you get skiddy about this stuff and the colors and the textures as I do, or am I just nuts? Here is Child, Child on a Stool by that same artist. And yes, the pattern is in here. The needlepoint pattern, which probably isn't practical for me to try to follow. Realistically, there might be a better way for me to stitch these than trying to translate the needlepoint patterns into cross stitch, but I'm not at the point right now where I'm actually going to tackle doing it, so I'll be happy just leafing through the book and daydreaming about the possibilities. This book is still available on Amazon. As I'm filming this, there is one copy listed for $909 and change. That's crazy talk. It's listed in paperback for actual affordable prices. I'll put links in the description below. Thank you for watching. I'm Michelle from Michelle's Romantic Tangle, and I'll be back with you again soon.